them. So cash. We have X3 Demon playing human versus Tormov, which is cash playing I don't know what because that's random. And it's Night Elf, so I didn't even know that this orc player cash uh, was playing random. So I downloaded this replay assuming that it would have been like a human versus orc replay, but nope, it's a human versus night elf, which is even better because I like this matchup more. So that's okay. So we have cash here with the standard ancient of war creep uh, at the ogre warrior here. Let's see if he's gonna get a ring of protection or a better circle of nobility. Circlet of nobility. While uh, X3 Demon here is going for. Uh, he isn't getting fast altar, so still standard build order, Archmage. Let's take a look at the hero choice for the Night Elf. It's gonna be a Demon Hunter, so nothing too fancy. Um, even though. Eco Isles is well known to be very solid warden map so you can easily creep level 3 warden and warden is in general pretty effective on this map especially if you don't get hard countered by a mountain king so it's kind of surprising that it's going for demon hunter here <coughs> even though I don't know anything about Cash's night elf so maybe he only plays demon hunter when he plays Night Elf, I don't know. But uh, Warden is a very common choice in this map. So the thing here is that you obviously start creeping before your hero is out, so when your hero is out you simply right click on the Ogre Warrior and get the item, which is Ring of Protection, so I called it So definitely not the best item you can get there. Let's see the item for X3 Demon. It's gonna be the Gloss of Haste, so I would say it's a little bit better. At least you got some more DPS on your Archmage. Uh, but nothing game changing. Like if I can get Circlet, Circlet is always my favorite item. Like the Circlet of Nobility really improves your stat by a lot. Demon Hunter is trying to interrupt the creeping of the Archmage, which is gonna get level 2 nonetheless. While the Demon Hunter is stuck at level uh, 1 for the time being, and since he doesn't have any Ancient of War anywhere on the map, I guess he's gonna stay level 1 for a while. Because the human is doing a good job moving his foodies and now he's rallying two foodies um, in the middle of the map. So let's see if he's stacking. Okay, he's stacking, so he's gonna go for a rifle push or maybe a tire to uh, tower push. Because at this point, if you play one base, there are basically two strategies that you can apply. You can go for rifles. So right, the standard rifle push, or you can go for uh, mass footman on defend, tire two tower push. So you don't build rifles, you only build mass footman. Um, maybe with an alchemist or an aga, and then you make a lot of towers, and with defend, you try to snipe triads, and that's also valid strategies. But most people play rifles, and I see a blacksmith here, so he's most likely going for rifles. Demon Hunter's got the Boots of Speed, which is gonna grant him this foodie kill. Okay, but nice deny by X3 Demon, denying the experience. That would have been the level 2 for this Demon Hunter, so that was a huge deny by the human player. Uh, but looks like he's gonna lose another foodie. Yeah, and that's his level 2, so well done by Cash. Using his microing his uh, archers very well and getting the kill.
It's even forcing X3 Demon to by the human player. to call his, uh, his militia, which is always very annoying. <clears throat> when I play human, if there's something that I really hate to do is calling the militia and then giving them the order to come back to work and then recalling a game is extremely tiring. But he's got his first rifle on the field. Of course he doesn't have level 2 because the Night Elf knows what is going on and he knows that it's key to keep the Archmage under leveled. He's getting a Naga, which is a very good hero to snipe units and possibly even sniping the, the Archmage. Keep in mind, okay, X3 Demon is obviously reacting with the Naga as well, which is not really a reaction. I mean, even if the Night Elf goes for Panda, let's say, you still pick up the Naga. In other words, playing Naga when you rifle push is the standard, so... You could play a Mountain King, but I think Naga is better because of the slow. The only problem is that the Demon Hunter's DPS is too big and even if it doesn't have claws, I think he can kill this Naga, but nice block! Nice block by X3 Demon Hunter. Nice block by X3 on the Demon Hunter with the rifle. That was massive because it allowed it allowed him to keep the Naga alive. But the timing of this push is severely delayed, so Cash is buying a lot of time. When you do this type of push, you want to go straight into the Night of base. You don't want to dig around in the middle of the map. He's wasting a lot of time. He's not really wasting time because it's his opponent doing a good job being on his path, but as a human player, you want to be straight into the Night Elf base. So, at this point he has to creep. Because at this point his only choice is to get Archmage level 3. Uh, because Cash has already his first Dryas on the field. Um, keep in mind the dryers are pretty bad against rifles, but they are also very good against uh, water elementals. Uh, looks like Cash is choosing to go for bears, so he thinks he has enough time to go for bears. That's interesting. So he's not panicking. If you panic at this point, you could just choose to go for mass dryads and go for mass dispel, and then try to snipe all of the rifles and kind of block the human from achieving the critical mass of rifles but Cash is playing this... he's going for bears his tire tree is almost finished he doesn't feel the pressure of the human, I think the human should push right now because that's the timing that's his only chance as soon as uh, the knight of Scott Burst, that's GG. Because his Archmage is not even level 3 and this Naga is so squishy, so yeah. Human is going for the push, he's calling 5 militia, 6 militia actually. He's got uh, 4 rifles, 5 soonish, 2 priests, but he really needs this level 3. Is he gonna get it here? It's very close to that, but Cash is coming for the creep check. And he denies the level 3. Okay, he doesn't really. I didn't saw there were two... Some mercenaries left. Some uh, creeps, I mean. But tire 3 is finished for the elf right now. The master upgrade is also finished. He already has 3 birds. And... I don't know. So the only way the human can win this is if he snipes those birds very quickly. But the problem is that the human, the Night Elf, can simply put the Rejuvenation on the Demon Hunter. 
and with the demon hunter abusing rejuvenation you can easily snipe a lot of rifles without getting punished because you keep rejuvenating your hit points and you cannot even steal that because you don't have a breaker so let's see if he's producing a breaker nope he's going full sorceresses right now which is good but Against rejuvenation, you absolutely need a breaker. If you cannot steal the rejuvenation, you have no counter to the demon hunter. So, if he wants to win this fight, he needs to out micro cash hard. That's his only option. So, hard focus on the demon hunter. All of the bears are in bear form, so he's not using the Riju. Um, keep in mind that this guy is not an idol player, so I don't know how high is Night of play, how high level is Night of play really is. But it looks like the human is doing well here. Rifles are 2-0, so don't underestimate the damage output. Damage output is good. And these birds, they took a lot of damage. And what I would like to see by the Night Elf is some rejuvenation used while in fight. So, because that's what Night Elves do when I play against them. They always start the fight with the rejuvenation activated, so you can't really put any damage on the Demon Hunter. Oh, but the humans got even Scroll of Beast. So that's a massive damage output increaser. Nice Riju on the bear. Making him a little bit more tanky. He's going for Archmage now, but there's a potion. So this shop is paying off very well. And I think two bears, okay. Nidav still has a chance, nice staff. Hmm. Maybe he can win this with some proper staff micro. Look how sick is the level 2 slow of the of the frost arrow. Everything is red for the for the Night Elf. So who loses the hero first here loses the game. If he loses the, the Demon Hunter is GG, if he loses the Archmage is CG. Cash is trying to build. Okay, he's got already the second engine of lore. But this I don't know why he's producing with two bears from the same building. It looks like a macro mistake. He needs a potion very quick. He gets it. Nice moon will usage. It needs Riju, it needs Riju, it needs Riju. Okay, he's using it now, but looks like he got dispelled by the priest or something. And he forces the TP, and I think with this move the push is failed. There are no towers, and so the night elf has successfully Hell, this push because now you simply mess bears and then you finish off the human usually. If you survive this push, it's GG like 99.9% .9 of the time, if not 100% of the time. But that was close. At many points in that fight, he could have lost the demon hunter, and if he loses demon hunter, then he loses the game. Because then he has no means to kill the Archmage. The human knows that he doesn't have any time, so he goes immediately for the counter push. But. Okay, he's got one breaker now, so he can steal the Riju. But now we have four bears, five bears with Roar, so. Looks like he's got the critical mass to defend this. And how can you possibly kill this demon hunter? I don't see how. 
Naga is also level 3, Invul Potion is triggered. At this point you can just abuse Rejuvenation and the strength of the bears. And if you micro properly you shouldn't even lose a unit. And Cash is microing this very well, saving even this very low HP bear and is finding a lot of kills while the human is not killing anything. Maybe he's gonna kill these bears. Okay, nice Steph. He lost one bear so far, but the Naga for the, the human is very low. The Demon Hunter though is low as well. It needs to be microed back. Maybe if he gets the Demon Hunter kill, he's getting the TP. And everything is hurt for cash. But everything is hurt for X3 Demon as well. So I still think that the Night Elf has this game, but it's definitely it was definitely not a one-sided game. The human really got a chance to win this game. It was very close at some point. Now it's totally in the favor of the Night Elf because he's got like four, six bears. He's got Regis, he's got seven bears. Uh, even without upgrades, there's no way that this. Human can win this fight. At least there's no way that I'm aware of. You just can't. Like basically the Night Elf needs to go AFK and stop microing at all. That's the only way that the human can win. If you go AFK, you stop microing, then you can still lose. But if you make a very simple effort of to micro your bears, you should win here. Because they are too tanky, look look how much damage they can absorb and then yeah, you don't find any kills while the Night Elf kills everything with the Demon Hunter, so at this point it's GG, good game, well played by both. So let's move on with uh, the next replay. We're gonna see some Foggy versus Blade right now.